Happy New Year, everyone. It's Janet here with another Sweeping Saturday. And what I wanted to talk to you about today is your equipment and why equipment matters in your curling game. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was shoes and sliders. The thickness of the slider on your shoe will definitely affect the ability of your slide to maintain momentum. So when you kick out of the hack, the force that you're generating will be reduced by a thinner Teflon and improved with a thicker Teflon. Let me show you what I mean. A lot of you, when you started, would have been using one of our step-on slider uh, options. And you can see that the Teflon on this slider is very thin. It's actually only 1 16th of an inch thick. And the thinner the Teflon, the more uh, resistance there's going to be in your curling slide. So once you've gained uh, the fundamentals of balance using a slider like this, you wanna upgrade your slider to a thicker piece of Teflon. And you can see here, this one is slightly thicker, 1 uh, one-eighth of an inch, I'm sorry. And then we have 5 30 seconds of an inch. You can see that the slider's starting to get thicker, the Teflon. And then the thickest Teflon that we have is the quarter of an inch Teflon. So this is a very thick, hard, rigid surface, and it keeps the cold of the ice much better than one of the thinner pieces of Teflon, and therefore the glide of the shoe uh, is, is much better. The other component of your shoe that will improve your delivery performance is the reducing the friction on the trailing foot. On my shoe, I have an applied uh, toe cap, and uh, if that's something you don't currently have on your shoe, come see us, we can put one on for you, or we can even show you how to do it with tape yourself. But reducing this friction at the back of your delivery will really improve your ability to slide. Okay, the next piece of equipment that we all use while we're curling is, is the brush for sweeping and uh, in some cases for sliding. There's a number of different brushes on the market and I brought two, two to show you today. Um, the first is made out of fiberglass and uh, we carry a number of the different manufacturers uh, fiberglass brushes here at the club. This is a heavier brush. Um, and therefore, when we were talking about the sweeping and being able to increase your uh, speed of your brush head, this one weighs a bit more, so you may find yourself getting tired as, the, as you're brushing. Um, the other type that we carry is a fiberglass, sorry, carbon fiber broom. So similar to golf clubs, they've uh, improved the technology. And this is a much lighter broom, which will allow you to increase that brush speed uh, with greater ease. Really important, the, the uh, cover or the head uh, of your brush. The cleaner it is, the better it is. So you can see here, this brush has been used for part of the season and it's starting to get some wear as well as some dirt buildup. So you wanna think about replacing your brush head a couple of times throughout the season. A great rule of thumb is give yourself a new brush head for the number of games that you play per season. And let's hope that we're playing those games really soon.